Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate and enjoy everyday life for less. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to do a feather tutorial step by step. For those of you guys who saw my last video, which was how to DIY a celebrity wedding on a budget, I'll link it here. Um, many of you went wild about the feather centerpieces and you requested a tutorial on how to do them. Now, as you know, feathers and pompous grass and all things feathery are going to be trending this year. So I am going to show you guys how to do this centerpiece and you can definitely do the same thing with pompous grass. It is so easy. All you need is three different materials and I'm telling you, your end results will be absolutely amazing. So I'm going to prep our station here and get ready to show you guys exactly how to do this. So stay tuned. So when you are decorating a wedding or an event, Fresh florals like these beautiful florals here may not always be in the budget. And that is why I'm doing today's video because I feel like feathers are a great option for, you know, weddings or baby showers or bridal showers or birthday parties, you know, where you may not have that floral budget in place. Okay, you guys, so let's get started building our feather centerpiece. You're only gonna need three simple materials in order to do this. The first thing is this 24 inch Eiffel Tower vase. I got it in white. It also comes in clear and it comes in black and you can spray paint it any color you desire. But this one is in white and I love the white because I just think it really elongates the you know feather centerpiece once you get it all together. Um, the next thing is the, Duke, um, the foam bouquet holder the foam bridal bouquet holder and again remember we're going to use the smaller one for this one we'll put this one to the side and for the feathers i have 14 to 16 inch ostrich feathers and um for this centerpiece you normally use between 24 and 30 of them depending on how full you want it the key is like when you look through the centerpiece, you may see some white, but because the feathers are white, it's not gonna stand out as much as if it would if you were using the green, the um, floral bouquet holder um, with the green foam in it. You wanna make sure that it is the white foam. Somebody type white foam down below. Now I got these from eFavorMart. I'm gonna leave my recipe and the direct links to all of these items that you see here down in the description box below and I will also pin it in the first comment. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to start, I normally start around the bottom and I start at an angle because I want it to kind of have that arc and then you want to make sure you kind of do this maybe the day before the event if you can because if you let you know go ahead and set them up the day before the event it gives a natural um arc as they relax you know almost kind of like you know wrinkles falling out of the tablecloth if it has time to relax so i'm going to get a little bit closer to show you guys the first step and then i'll come back and put the whole thing together and you can follow along with me Okay, you guys, so you wanna start kind of at an angle and you're going to place that feather in at the bottom, like so. Okay, this gives you kind of a natural arc and as the top and all the other pieces start falling over, it'll just give you that extra dramatic look and it's just that simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the feathers all around and we're gonna go around by layer and then when we get to the top, we're gonna put them at an angle here, here and straight up. So let's get started working. You wanna kinda of move it around as you go along Again, I am starting with 24 to 30. I think I have 30 here in the pile. It just all depends on how full you want it. But just the, you know, 
I guess the rule of thumb is to just start around 24. I know some people say less, but I'm telling you it is not as full. Now we have our first layer on, and then I'm gonna go in between those. You wanna go in between them. So if I have one here, let's see here. Can you see here? If I have one here and one here, then I'm gonna place my next one here. And again, I wanna do it at an arc, cause you remember it will relax in 24 hours, okay? I always kind of treat it like cheerleaders. <laughs> you know how when you line up cheerleaders, you have to fill in, you have to close those holes. For those of you guys who are ex-cheer girls, you wanna kind of use your larger feathers on the bottom if you had like obviously longer ones, but with these, I could not really tell if I had any obviously longer ones. So therefore, I'm just using them all here. All right, now we have our second row in. Now we're gonna go with our third row and we're gonna go in the middle of that row. All right. And I like to build it in, in the actual centerpiece. Some people don't, I do, because I like to see what it's gonna look like. It's really hard to build it when you're just um, using it in hand. To me, it's harder for me to do it that way. We're coming along nicely. If we have extra feathers at the end, I'm sorry if you guys can't see me, but if we have extra feathers at the end, what I'm going to do is I will um, count how many we have left because I'm pretty sure we started with 30. So this is our, okay, one, two, three, fourth row. And as you can see, the fourth row we're having to build. And I'm gonna probably work around this because now it's getting so tall that it's hiding me. It's very dramatic and I love that. It gives a beautiful dramatic effect. I always like to step back and look at my work. And as you guys can see, like not every hole is perfectly covered up. If you want to order more feathers, you can do that. But I'm telling you guys, even when you're sitting at the table because everything is white, it doesn't really stand out. All right, so here's the one I was telling you about. We're gonna place straight up in the top. See, one there, and then we're gonna do that one here. And we're gonna do one here. Y'all, I think I got the recipe right, perfect. Okay, so we use exactly 30 feathers for this. But the great thing about this centerpiece is that you can use it, you can do it over and over. You can use it over and over and over again. The feathers, all of my feathers fit into a really small box so they don't take up a lot of space storage wise. And um, I think it's absolutely fabulous. What do you guys think? I'm gonna kind of show it, turn it around so you guys can see all angles of it. I could probably stand to put another feather right there, but otherwise I think it turned out incredible. You see how easy, quick and easy that was? Like super duper quick and easy. So we're gonna, where was that hole? I saw it right here. Once you finish putting your centerpiece together, I always like to look at it from every angle, like every single angle. And the reason I do that is because that's the way guests are gonna be looking. Some guests will be sitting on this side, some guests will be sitting on that side. You know, guests will be all around the table. So you wanna make sure that, you know, your centerpiece looks great from every angle.
So I'm gonna check it around from every angle to make sure we don't have any additional holes or gaps. I think it looks incredible. Great, great, great accent for your next wedding, your next event, you guys. Fabulous. So easy, easy, easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed me sharing with you how simple it is to DIY this feather centerpiece. Again, I will leave all the links down below. And if you guys are interested in joining Lux Academy, I'm gonna to be t doing tons of classes just like this. I'll give you all the materials you need, the count that you need, and you just follow right along with me. So I will leave that link down below. I already have two classes up and I will be adding more classes. So be sure to join my mailing list so that you will always stay in the know. Thank you guys. So so much for all of your continuous and unwavering support. If you have any more DIY video ideas, be sure to leave them down in the comments and I will definitely add them to my list. Thank you guys so much for watching again and until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!